Hi guys, I'm sitting down with Michael Ephraim, the head of Sony Computer Entertainment Australia New Zealand, and he's going to run us through some of the latest PS3 sales figures. Now Michael, thanks for joining us. Can you just recap about how PlayStation 3 has done in Australia in the last a year? Yeah, PlayStation 3 has really started uh, selling very well since we launched the slim version and had the price reduction to 499 on September 1st, 2009. We were the, the largest growth platform in units for 209. Uh, and in 2.10, we definitely uh, have that same momentum behind us and doing extremely well and, and, and beating one of our competitors and, and you know, occasionally beating another competitor. So uh, clearly, we're starting to see that people understand the complete offering of PS3. Great games have come out like God of War, Uncharted, Game of the Year, and so on. But we think Play TV, Catch Up TV, um, yeah, VidZone with 16,000 music videos that you can stream for free is starting to resonate out there and PS3 owners are entertainment enthusiasts. They, they love games but they love music, they love movies and so on. Okay, can you just uh, tell us how many PS3s um, you've sold in Australia? Yeah, now we have approximately, but around the mark, of 850,000. Now that includes the PS3s that we've given away with the Bravia deals that our sister company and us have, have done over the last year and a half. And, uh, you know, that's that's a pretty good number considering we launched a year later than, um, than Xbox. Uh, we launched in March 2007. And, you know, we will clearly break the 1 million mark before uh, the end of this year. Can you break those sales figures down and tell us how many PS3s you've sold without the Bravia deal? Yeah, just approximately, probably about 150,000 were Bravia deals. And are you happy with that, with that number? Yeah, definitely. I think what, you know, we're very happy about the Bravia deal more in the sense that the people that were buying Bravia chose that offer because they understood the benefit of having a PS3 and a high definition screen. The fact that PS3 plays BD high definition movies, allows you to play back your high definition home videos or digital pictures. So, you know, we like the fact that they chose the Bravia deal because Bravia's are great televisions, but they were getting a complete HD solution with the PS3. Great, now how about the PSP Go? How has that done so far? PSP Go has, has done okay. We're, we're relaunching it again, or not relaunching it, we're going to be launching an offer with 10 free game downloads and some top quality first and third party games. Uh, that will launch fairly very soon. And um, I think PSP Go has done okay, but you know, it was uh, a first device of its kind where you did not have packaged goods or uh, pre recorded media. Uh, and I think that, you know, PSP Go will, will blaze the trail for future iterations of a handheld. The handheld space is very crowded, not just in the games category, but also with smartphones and, and so on. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're happy we launched it so we can understand the market. Uh, and we will re-energize the sales very shortly with some new promotions. Do you have any sales figures for the PSP Go that you're willing to, to talk about? Um, PSP Go, to be honest, the, the, the numbers are quite low. Uh, and off the top of my head, I really, I think we're talking about 20,000 to 25,000 units. Okay, now it's been a it's been a busy 2010 for, for you guys. You've launched uh, God of War 3, Heavy Rain, and Modern Nation Races, three really big titles. How have those sold in Australia? Well, God of War 3 has gone extremely well. Uh, we have, you know, shipped over close to 90,000 units when you include all the collector's editions. And for one format, that's a, a very strong result. Uh, Modern Nation has just launched, so it's hard to tell right now, but early indications that people love the game. Uh, it's, as you know, it's bringing uh, Little Big Planet play, create and share experience uh, with kart racing. Uh, and if my kids are any indication, this weekend that's all they play. So, and you know, Uncharted did extremely well, Infamous did very well. So our library of really strong HD first party games are, are just growing uh, every day. Okay, now um, the industry has seen, the overall gaming industry, the global gaming industry, has seen some slower sales in the, last, um, in the last six, seven months. How do you think the Australian marketplace has done? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've been sort of 
uh, we, we've missed the GFC bullet, you know, haven't we? Because if you look at the US and UK over the last two years, they've had double digit uh, dip in sales, where for the Australian industry for the last two years, we had uh, two years ago, we had 47% growth. And then last year, we had about 5% growth. Uh, you know, it's it, innovation drives take up new price points of consoles drives take up. Uh, but there is a financial uh, uh, GFC issue that maybe Australia has missed the bullet on. But the industry here is very confident that we can deliver similar numbers as last year. Great. Now, what are your thoughts on 3D gaming and um, what does Sony plan to do in that marketplace? Do you think it'll take off, especially in the gaming arena? Yeah, I, I personally, based on what I've experienced in 3D games, and a lot of analysts in the 3D space is saying this, that 3D gaming and sports will really be the key drivers of 3D, take up 3D televisions initially. As you know, the PS3 now has been upgraded to 3D. We will have another firmware upgrade very shortly to upgrade it to BD 3D movie playback. Uh, and you know, I, I can't wait for people to see at E3 and in the second half as games come out in 3D because I, I, I think it's a real game changer. I think it's going to make a big difference and we're very, very, you know, confident that PS3 is going to lead that charge for, for the whole category in the gaming side and, and we really are the only gaming console that is real 3D. So we're very excited about it. Great. Now, final question. What are PlayStation's aims for, for the coming year? How many units do you hope to sell in Australia? What targets do you want to reach? Yeah, we, we, you know, we hate to talk about forecasts because there's so many variables, uh, price moves, great games, innovation, you know, especially when now, if you look at what's ahead of us, we've got 3D and PlayStation Move. Those both are pretty big, compelling offers. So we could be underbaking our numbers right now if we, we tell you a number. Uh, we again have the momentum in the games category. We're definitely, you know, since September. So all I can say is I think we're going to have one of our best years as far as annual sales. But it's a bit early to start giving numbers out. But we're very confident about what we can do, if not overachieve.